Our duo is called Acacia Lira. We do all kinds of things. We combine two harps, we combine two voices and two harps, or maybe one voice and two harps. We throw in a guitar, we add a little percussion, we add five languages, we mix it up, uh, we mix up styles, we mix up centuries. Uh, we just go with whatever feels like it's going to be interesting. Rio, Rio, Chiu, la guarda ribera, que os guardo el lobo de nuestra cordera. Rio, Rio, Chiu, la guarda ribera, que os guardo el lobo de nuestra cordera. El lobo rabioso la quiso morder, mas Dios poderoso la supo defender. Quiso le hacer que no pudiese pegar, ni a un original esta virgen no tuviera. Río, río, chila, guarda ribera, Dios guardo el lobo de nuestra cordera. Rio Rio Chiu is a Spanish uh, a song from probably older than the 15th century. It's supposed to imitate the sound of a nightingale, but it's very rhythmic, it's very jolly. We like to do it with some percussion because it has a real Mediterranean feel to it. Certainly it's something that has been associated in Spain with Christmas time. to be um, members of the Ottawa Harp Choir, which was a really nice group of people. I think, uh, I mean, depended on the time, but there were upwards of 11 harps. At that point, I was ready to do something different, and Janine was also a member of the Harp Choir, and we realized that we had quite a few things in common, and we wanted to explore those things. So Susan and I decided that we might try our hand at doing something, just the two of us, because we already knew we had a connection. And it has evolved into way more than a musical duo. We're, we're such good friends and um, we just have so much fun together making music, but also being girlfriends. <laughs> The Huron Carol, we tried to give it a sort of an Aboriginal feel. We wanted to give it a more percussive sound and, and something that sounded a little Aboriginal and a little bit wintry. Chrétien, prenez courage, Jésus sauveur est né. Du mal à les ouvrages, à jamais son ruiné. Quand il chante merveille à ses troublants appas. Jesus, 
So why is the harp special at Christmas? Well, I, I think actually a lot of people think of harps with angels and the angel of course and, and harps, you see them all around at Christmas and you hear harp music at Christmas time, but I really ha think it has to do with the whole angelic connection. You hear so much harp in Christmas music and there are just so many beautiful arrangements of, of harp music. It just seems to be a good pairing, harps and Christmas. This is called Ala de Nita Nana. It's another very, very old 15th century lullaby, actually, in Spanish. It really, to me, reflects the, the idea of rocking babies and rocking the baby Jesus in particular. But as Susan likes to say, you know, babies like to be rocked all year long. So we don't just sing this one at Christmas, but it is, in fact, a Christmas song. We just launched our second uh, CD and it's called Aksarnit and that means Northern Lights in Inuktitut. So that's the title track and um, the CD itself is um, quite a variety. The, um, there's a lot of pieces that we've written ourselves and then there's our usual uh, Spanish and French and uh, Swedish um, and English and a teeny little smattering of Inuktitut. <laughs> a version they may not have heard before. This Old Lang Syne is a more traditional Scots version. Um, it is really a song of fond remembrance and uh, new beginnings. And so it's very appropriate for this time of year, I think. And here's a hand my trusty fear and gives a hand of thine and will Tak a right good welly what for old lang syne, for old lang syne, my joy, for old lang syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet. that it appears to really um, make people feel good. That's what harp's all about. 
pretty nice gift at Christmas time. Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. Real time.